Yeah. My name is Sarah Boyle. I'm a registered clinical counselor. I practice with Parallel Wellness out of the Burnaby office and in North Vancouver. Work experiences I've had so far are a variety of different outreach positions. Um, I worked with at-risk youth originally. I did um, family counseling for child protection cases in addition to an immediate response program which worked with really highly volatile households um, and did family counseling there. I've always had a lot of um, interest in more complex mental health issues, so more specifically eating disorders, OCD uh, and other disruptive emotional behavioral processes. I work primarily with individuals uh, however, I do find if someone's partner or someone's family can be incorporated into the treatment, uh, I'm always welcome to that. I think a more holistic approach is better than not. So my approach to counseling is really organic. I typically get my clients to come into the room, we meet, we greet, I, you know, I get them comfortable and get them to introduce what brings them to see us. And then from there, you know, we typically have a good chat get some security and safety formed and then we can really dive into how we can best support the process to get them to work towards whatever relief or liberation or empowerment they're looking for. Because I'm really about meeting the client where they're at, depending on what a client's goals are, that's going to you know, dictate what tools I use, what approaches I use with them. Uh, if someone comes into the room and they just want to create more time with their intimate partner, I'm going to use a really practical behavior intervention approach just to, you know, find date nights, find times for them to connect during the evening together and leave it at that if that's where they want to. Uh, personally, I really enjoy doing a more psychotherapeutic approach. I always think about it kind of, you know, looking under the hood of a car. If I really see the full engine, I know all the pieces I'm working with, I can tune it up as best as possible and I can get it running to the best of my ability. Um, so helping, you know, helping people get comfortable with me, if they can let me in to have some of those deeper conversations, we typically can get our ship sailing in a really good direction. So the approaches I use are a real mix. I have a background in dietetics and holistic wellness and um, certainly eating disorder interventions, but other approaches I just, you know, pull on regularly are emotion-focused therapy, solution-focused therapy, uh, dialectical behavior therapy, and always effective communication. So why I'm so passionate about counseling is because I'm a human, my clients are human, and we all go through periods of our life where we are up against challenges, we might be struggling or really suffering with something going on in our life that we feel stuck on. So to be able to speak to it, to be able to work with someone towards liberation from it and just getting that empowerment back in our life, like that's what makes me thrive, that's what motivates me every day to keep working with people. And um, yeah, especially, especially with my eating disorder clients, you know, they make me show up every day to just keep the fight going and work through stuff out. And there's nothing that's more rewarding than when I see that shift in a client and I can tell that they've gotten a bit more confidence back, they've gotten a bit more security back, and uh, their hope is back. So what even introduced me to counseling in the first place was going through a really intense eating disorder of my own in 2009, 2010, um, where I was just totally in that helpless, desperate sp space. Like, I felt that way, my family felt that way, and you are just stuck in a complexity of mentalities. Uh, not knowing really where to go and what to do. I went through, you know, a year and a half to two years of intense interventions and um, therapeutic work to heal a lot of what was on the surface of the behavior and underneath in my emotional processes. And I just, I, you know, I promised myself after that process, like I couldn't not show as many people as possible how to get through such a terrible thing and terrible time. So. Uh, sure enough, I signed up for my master's in counseling and here we are uh, and one by one I'm, I'm hoping to continue to do that. Yeah, so oftentimes eating disorder clients come in and because they've been stuck in their pattern for so long they have a hard time believing that they can get out of it. 
Um, and I just want to assure you, you know, one of the most liberating pieces of information I found out in my treatment is that the brain can change. It is a muscle and it absolutely can change. And the processes that we're really stuck on right now, we can work through and do interventions to change. And the deeper healing around emotional processes with food and our bodies and really our social circle, we can absolutely work and change at the core. So in terms of my treatment approach with clients with eating disorders, uh, Again, I take a pretty organic approach based on where the client is at. So if it is someone who is more isolated, I'm helping them get you know, their self-care intact, their supports around them, or maybe even just work on building supports from the get-go. If they're currently integrated with a social circle or their family, and maybe there's even triggers there, I'm working with that as well. Um, ultimately though, if someone has high needs to, for the behavioral work right off the hop, maybe their health is declining or some other factor, then that's what we're really focusing on. If someone's ready for the deeper emotional work, then we'll, we can go right into that uh, in a really organic way. I will always balance out all the pieces, um, but it's, it's really dependent on the individual and where they're at as to where we can start. It, it, truly, my door is open to anyone. Um, you know, whether, I, I try to tell people all the time, your challenges or your obstacles or something you're suffering with is never minimized or negated because it might not be clinical depression or it might not be a behavioral issue. Um, having the ability to speak to someone about what is going on internally for you creates a shift. It makes us begin to work forward towards something uh, and that is reason enough to come to counseling. So, you know, certainly come on in and we'll just meet you where you're at and see where we can go. Yeah, I think what makes me really unique as a counselor is just I'm, I'd like to consider myself above and beyond open-minded. There's rarely something a client can share with me that's going to shake me. I just really understand how humans work. I understand the intricacies of how we work. Um, and I, you know, I, it, it becomes very normalized to me how things turn out. And, and you're never going to get judgment from me. Like, I'm, I'm with you the whole way. And, and I only just want to figure things out with you together.